so once you have the apk file transferred to your mobile you you might be wondering how it's run basically how the internal mechanism works so what happens is once you have transferred the apk file to the mobile device it's stored in the data app package name folder that's the step one and next what happens is the classes.dex file is extracted from this package and this is converted into a native library which is nothing but the machine code which a cpu can understand okay so this native library is stored in the data dalvik cache folder for the first time the app is run and that's the only time so that's a good thing right you have the machine code available in the cache so now what happens is you are running this uh, this app on a on a device which is based on linux right now linux doesn't understand or you know know how to execute this file so what happens is a process called zygote is used by android and this zygote process is you know it it starts creating a forked version of itself whenever the app needs to run which is nothing but a, a process in the memory and you know using this forked process and the loaded native code uh, linux is able to run and load i mean load and run the android app pretty quickly so all this process has been created to execute the apk file or you know run your app um, in the best possible way in the fastest possible way and also in the secure way secure means that you know since each app has its own functionalities its own code so it's important that it's run securely it it's not impacted by other apps and how this happens is each app runs in its own process so that there are no security flaws or security issues okay so i hope this gives you an overview of how uh, the zygote process um, is created or forked how the apk file runs uh, what is dalvik cache uh, you can go ahead and read more in android documentation about these terms and you know if you are interested in linux then you can try to um, go in go in the depth of these terms try to understand how this processor works and stuff like that okay thanks bye